Hey y'all, made you some tea. It's sleepy time tea. I think we all need to relax just a little bit, right? I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, I'm feeling it too. Cheers, bottoms up. Cheers to feeling relaxed. And cheers to feeling cheerful. Okay, so this is what I'm a seeing. Today, <laughs> I saw so many people just not having a good time. I didn't really see, hmm, let me think. I did see one person at times three, I saw Fran. She looked like she was having a good time. She kind of kidded around with me. But other than that, everybody looked like they were just real serious or really bummed out. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, where I was parked, um, not in Quartzsite anymore, um, and where I'm parked, I went, I was in my van and went, bam, somebody banged my um, side of my minivan really hard. So I kind of got up and I went out and I kind of opened the door and she turned around and looked at me. And, um, and I said, uh, you banged my car really hard. <laughs> She goes, no, no. But then she started crying and she just said, I had, I've had the most awful day. And I said, well, it's okay. I mean, I don't see it. I just wanted to let you know that you moved, my car actually moved, <laughs> you know, you banged it so hard. She goes, I'll move. I go, no, 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 you don't have to move it. But she moved it. I, she was crying. I like, wow, it's just been one of those days today. Everybody I see looks like they're having a really tough time irritable time, bad time. Driving back from uh, Quartzsite, going south, oh my gosh, back up traffic three or four times. It took a little bit longer to get um, here, but oh well. So I did get a message and one of you said, Minnie Van Lee, I would like to know what you do at night. What do you do at night in your van? Do you watch TV? What do you do? Well, it's nighttime. I usually don't do this at night. That's why I've got tea. Let me get this handy. That's why I've got tea and, mm, wow, it's so good. Well, what I do is I usually park my, this is my seven plus, this is very old. But this has a lot of movies downloaded on it. And if I don't have internet or good cell coverage, I just park it here and I put on a movie that maybe I haven't seen for a while. But I've seen them all already. But, you know, sometimes I just like background noise. Um, sometimes I do my business. I'm doing, I'll edit a video or I'm texting somebody, talking to somebody, leaving a message. I'm working on some photography, um, graphic arts drinking tea but that's what I do this is my this is my night mode um, all the curtains are down I have blackout curtains on the side here I don't know if you guys notice but I've got a towel up here it's a really nice um, it's a deep sea turquoise towel and I put those up I put this on this side too let's see if we can get that yeah I've got it on that side too because the fleece that I had was stretched out so far, it was just stretched, that light was coming through at night. If there were a lot of, um, in a parking lot, if there were a lot of uh, lights, real bright lights. So I put that up, it's, it looked, I did it nicely so that it looks nice, don't you think? It looks kind of nice. And yeah, so it makes it a little darker in here at night for sure. And even during the day, if the sun is shining and I just want to be in here um, resting, uh, taking a nap, doing some work, that, yeah. But, yeah, let me move this around. You can see that all my window coverings are up. Window coverings. They're gray, but this actually, it, the, uh, it's called gray blackout curtains. <sighs> okay, so in the blackout here. I'm totally cozy inside my van with my lights on. I have a little bit more lights because I'm doing a video, but this is what I do at night. 
I go to bed very early. Um, 7 30, 8 o'clock, and I'm out. I'm asleep. Because I get up early. I've been wanting to, and I have been, uh, meditating in the morning. Um, it's not evil meditation. A lot of people think that meditation is evil. Evil, no. Actually, there's a lot of Christian meditations. What I'm doing, actually praying is a form of meditation. And I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm trying to bring my thoughts in on what I want my thoughts to be, not just willy-nilly things just popping up in my head and, I, and then I'm thinking about it. That's like a rabbit hole, isn't it? You have one thought and it leads to another and all of a sudden you're, you're in a space where you're thinking about something from your past and it's not that positive. And I'm like, how did I get here? That I went through a rabbit hole. So in the morning, I like to center myself. First thing after I wake up, what I do is, let's be happy here. What I do is I um, go pee first and then I put on some lip, um, some gloss on there just because my lips are usually dry by morning. And I take a couple sips of water and then I lay right back down. I don't check my phone. I don't see who messaged me or anything like that. And that's what I do. And I usually spend about a half hour just kind of, um, I'm thinking about what I'm thinking about because I think that our thoughts, we're always thinking about something. So what I like to do is, um, direct where my thoughts are going because I do believe hello, what we hold in our head, we hold in our hand. So I don't want a lot of negative things uh, ending up inside of my brain. I do have this one meditation. It's called um, intentionality. And what it is, is he, and he has this really wonderful, um, from India, Indian accent. <laughs> I love a good Indian accent. And he talks about um, what your intentions are for the day. Well, what are your intentions? He starts off, well, how do you feel? Um, if it's good or it's bad, but just own it. it it's not good or it's not what, you, what you're feeling is not good or bad. Even if like your foot hurts or you're in pain, it's not good or bad. Just, just acknowledge that it's there. And by doing that, it almost just goes away by accepting, go, okay, well, you know, like my knee hurts or I'm laying here and um, my, my, I woke up with maybe a headache or something. Or I feel really sad today. Just feel it and own it. But I love his meditation because he goes on. Now, what do you want to do this morning? And the, the purpose of this meditation is, is intentional planning for intentionality. He said you can get so much more done when you have an intention to do it and the reason for doing it. He goes, well, what is your reason? What are your intentions? Why Why do you want to accomplish this this morning? And that's a really nice meditation. Sometimes you can just meditate on uh, being loving to other people and showing love or being happy. You vision yourself being really happy or you vision like how you want to look. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain some muscles? Things like that. So yeah, um, I've been doing that in the morning. But as far as nighttime, you asked about nighttime. Um, I love nighttime in my minivan. This is just as cozy as can be. Um, I had to put my Jackery right here because my phone, while I was driving my phone, I thought it was plugged in all the way and it wasn't. Yeah, so by the time I got here from Quartzsite, it was on 9%. That's not good at all. No, it's not. So I got to keep it plugged in. So everything is a little bit off kilter because I got to have my Jackery so close. So let's see. Being happy and being joyful. Well, we can think about... Oh, I'm off kilter here. We can think about what we can be grateful for. What can we be grateful for? I mean... We really do have a lot of freedom in this country. I know a lot of, there's a lot of people that have a lot of complaints of what's going on. Um, yeah, but I think that we can, we can be grateful for what we have, right? 
I mean, because we really do have a lot of freedom. And think about your friends or your family. Think about all the friends that you have. I know you do. And you have, probably have a couple really close ones. We never really have that many friends. I mean, um, I've got a few inner circle friends. And then I've got some acquaintances that I know. And I do consider all of you people... Um, my friends I really do because I'm talking to you I talk to you almost every day how could I not think that you're my friends I talk to you all the time I do apologize for anybody that was in court site that wanted to see me but I needed to have something something didn't feel right there and um I just wanted to I kind of accomplished what I wanted there and I kind of left yeah so I'm glad to be where I'm at right now. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay. But I do feel really grateful and I do feel very happy. Another message that I got early this morning, I found it. It was a comment. After I meditated, I kind of checked to see messages. And you said that, um, that I was a little bit too serious. I don't know about that. Um... I don't think I've been too serious. I've been doing a lot of voiceover <clears throat> because of the, it was either wind. When I was in Tucson at the park sometimes, there was like major music going on in the stands where the maintenance men were working on the ballparks. And I mean, they were playing it loud at the park. Well, I would have to do voiceover. So sometimes voiceover was a little bit more serious, but I think that I've been doing um, and some of my voiceovers have been soft. Paul had mentioned, he goes, I love it when your voice is so soft. It's like ASMR. Well, maybe I'll bring my voice down really soft. <clears throat> I'll bring it soft right now. And although it feels a little raspy. Where's my tea? <laughs> Here we go. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, soothe my voice so I can talk just a little bit softer for you. Maybe that'll relax you, right? I've got my my ravens. Where's my ravens? I've got my ravens here. I found these at uh, the Grand Canyon. I got two of them because uh, they mate for life. Ravens mate for life. So I had one raven and I found another one. I said, oh my gosh, they have to go two by two. Yeah, it reminds me of the ravens. I love ravens. Yeah. Well, I know on a side note, my this I've had this flower. I got it at Target. It was my first real decoration. I love this color. Oh yeah. So I put it in there. Anyways, it broke. But I just don't want to get rid of it. I kind of park it here. Yeah, I just park it here. There's things under there. My uh, bracelets. I park it there. There we go. And it gives me that color. Yeah. Well. I wish for everybody that they're stress-free. I really do. I don't know if it's the times, but all today, everywhere I looked, people seemed to be upset, impatient, uh, uh, tense. Yeah, that was like they were tense. So I wish for you all to be very relaxed. Good things are coming your way, I promise. High five. Yeah, you're doing good, everybody. I remembered um, this book, remember from the, I think it was in the 70s, I'm okay, you're okay. Well, I am okay, and I know you're okay too. We're going to make it, everybody. I think we're all going to make it. This is just my, this is my little pep talk for everybody. And I'm telling you, this tea is so good. How do you like yours? Um... Remember to do your uh, Nomad Vision Board. Paul's making one right now. I gave him some of the cards. He's working on it. 
Yeah. He said, well, give me 10, 10, 10 cards. I don't want to get overwhelmed, but I'll start with 10 cards. So I hope he's doing his cards. Yeah. Well, let's move on with what I do at night. Let's continue. I got this ready to go here. This is my collapsible bucket. Here's the wash rag. This is this was clean yesterday because I did laundry. Let me punch this out. I fill this bucket. I only fill it to about here. I don't. I need to get probably a smaller bucket, but I only fill it to here. And I wash my face, which when I'm done with this is what I'll do. I use Cerave facial um, hydrating facial cleanser. It's what I use. And then for my body, then I put tea tree oil in my bucket, bucket water. I use the same water. And this I wash up. I wash from your hair. Sometimes I'll wipe my face with it. Somebody had mentioned that this is really good for your uh, skin also. So sometimes I do that. Sometimes I, I don't. But I wash from here all the way down to my feet. And I scrub really good. Then, then, oh, <laughs> no, I usually use something different, but, no, oh, this is what I usually use, but I couldn't find any. It's a uh, retinal A, and maybe you can read that. It's retinal A, put that on my face, but it's almost the same thing, but it's a little different. So I got this for my face. Then I will lotion up, not every day, but kind of every other day I lotion up my body. I just put in the retinal A on my face, but that's what I do at night. Then I pull out my bed, pull out my bedding and call in and last night was a three blanket night for sure mm. so and then I usually park and I watch maybe the rest of a, a show or maybe a couple minutes of a movie and then then what do I do well I have a a nature app and I play the same one um, every night. It's called Nature Scapes, Nature Space. And I play, I have all of these on here. There's really only one I like. I bought them all, it was a package. This is one. Oops. It's called Sheltered, and it's supposedly this, I listen to it every night. If I change it, I'm afraid it might wake me up. I'm so used to this one, but it's, here, we'll put it. It's like there's a storm. You're out in the woods, out somewhere, and, and you find a little uh, shelter, like a, not really a cabin, but, yeah. And you can hear the rain. And then, then I put on a little bit of an audio book and I put my timer on for like 30 minutes. I'm usually out and I fall asleep. But the nature app goes on all night long. When I wake up, I turn it off. Yeah. Especially before I meditate, I kind of turn it off real quick. It might seem sort of like a boring life. <laughs> I go to bed so early, but you know, when I lived in a bricks and sticks, I went to bed really early too. I've always been an early riser. I like to get up early in the morning. I get more done that way. I can get my exercising done. And of course, when I worked, I wanted to do a lot of things before I went to work. So morning, I've always been a morning person. How about you? Let me know in the comments if you're morning or not. But well, I hope this was a, a happy video for you you know you know I just 
my goal is to inspire you, be friends with you, and if I can make you happy or make you smile, man, my that makes me happy. Why not? I mean, why would I want to make you upset? Why would I want to upset you? Um, 99% of you leave me such wonderful comments. You encourage me back and I just so appreciate that. There's probably that point, maybe 1% or 0 0.05, 0 0.5% of people who um, enjoy zinging me or making a comment instead of encouraging me with something positive what you do um, or what they do is um, want to criticize me for something well you need to do this well why aren't you doing this and you know I don't like them I don't like those comments and sometimes I bring them up too much but I want to say that I am so grateful for you who give me positive feedback because I'm here by myself and I want to bring you something, whether it's information or I want to encourage you. Or I want to let you know that everything's going to be okay. I've had some of you actually say that when I watch you, I know that everything's going to be okay. Well, guess what? It is going to be okay. One thing, you know, one thing I don't do anymore, and I used to be a junkie on it. I don't watch the news. I used to be a news junkie. Ugh. And I was depressed a lot. So I don't watch the news anymore. What what comes comes. If it's really big, um, my friends a friend will tell me about it, or eventually I'll see it. It'd be like you can't ignore it anymore. Or talk to my daughter, and she kind of knows what's going on. So yeah, but I don't watch the news anymore. I just I'm doing videos, and I'm traveling. I'm moving around. I'm exercising, keeping my blood flowing, and being positive. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. Leave me encouragement. I could use some encouragement too. Yeah. I love you guys. Please subscribe. It really does help me out. And neck gaiters, I've got some black. So these, this is a neck gaiter. Sort of a turtleneck, but I've got neck gaiters. Yeah. Working on my glasses photography. That's why I had to come back. I just wasn't working out doing the photography in quartzite so I left and uh, the book how to live in a minivan the minivan leeway that's on Amazon got the exercise tapes oh yeah uh, feel free to get on minivanlee.com they're not expensive at all and it'll get you started on some good exercising so you can feel good okay I love you guys till tomorrow. Bye. I'm okay. And you're okay. And everything is okay. As Paul would say, every little thing going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. Bye everybody.